Okay, let's take a look at the last example on how to balance half reactions. We have copper solid plus silver plus one gives me copper two plus plus silver solid. Remember, whatever appears in its elemental form, the way it appears in the periodic table has a charge of zero. So copper here has a charge of zero and so does silver on this side. Let's try to balance copper first. We have copper going from zero to copper two plus. Now, I'm not going to bother with the aqueous, it just takes too much time. If we take a look, copper is going from a zero to two plus, which means it's becoming more positive. Since it's becoming more positive, it is losing electrons. And because it is losing electrons, it's losing how many? You're going from zero to two, it's losing two electrons. Those electrons are going to appear in the product side. So two electrons. Let's make sure that both charges are equal on either side. Here I have a zero. On the other side, I have a two plus, plus two minus gives me a zero charge. That means that I have written the electrons on the correct side. If I had the electrons over here, I would have two minus plus a zero, a minus two on this side, and a plus two on this side. Therefore, I have written the electrons in the correct side. Let's take a look at the silver. Silver is now going from a plus one to a zero. Whoops, I wrote copper to silver at zero. It is going from, from a plus one to a zero, which means it's becoming less positive by one electron. To make both charges equal on either side, I can write that electron on this side, which means I have zero over here, plus one, minus one gives me zero on the other side, and my charges are balanced. I can then add my half reactions to get a total reaction, and whatever appears the same on both sides of those arrows, I can cancel. The only thing that will appear the same or similar will be the electrons. However, here I have two electrons, and here I only have one electron. I need to make this one the same as the other one up here, the two. Therefore, I need to multiply this whole reaction by two. And I multiply each, so I put a two in front of everything, or I multiply by two. Two times one silver, that gives me two silvers. Two times one electron gives me two electrons. Two times one silver zero gives me two silver zero. Now I can go ahead and add both of these reactions. My electrons are going to cancel, and then I add the rest. I have, let's see, I have copper zero, so copper solid, plus two silver plus ones, and this is aqueous, I just didn't write it, going to two silver solids this time, because it's a zero charge, plus copper two plus, which is aqueous. And now I go back and I make sure that my charge is balanced. I have two plus, two times a plus one, a two plus, because that's a zero, and I have a two plus on this side, and therefore my reaction, as well as my charges, are now balanced. This is how we write redox, redox reactions, how we balance redox reactions by using half reactions.